Hello folks and welcome to the last in the series of my me tactical Mac 7 on YouTube Mac tactics tactics 433 all the variations done this is your ultra attacking 4335 I've never done a 4335 because I generally leave that to Alexian or uh, QRs on a few of them um, but this is one of my favorite formations of all time uh, a few years ago this is the only formation I ran I ran it with like a Ronaldo at centre forward and I had it set up for my left wing and my right wing where they were the most attacking players in the team they would dart into the box diagonal runs I remember having a hazard out at left wing once and it was absolutely phenomenal um, it's kind of changed with the way the engines moved uh, you don't get the same kind of runs but as you've seen from the other 4-3-3s the midfield is just is brilliant and in this one yeah it's really good I really like this formation I think it's probably one of the best ones so uh, this is how I'm going to set up in game. Mbappe is going to play that centre forward role. Uh, Alvarez is going to be out on the right. Um, Fernand Torres on the left. Uh, I did think about having Mbappe out on the right, and I think you know that would work as well. Um, but this is the way I set up. I would probably have. I don't know I'd probably take Alvarez out of this one and put in Mbappe at left at right wing, and have a different centre forward. But. For consistency of this gameplay, I wanted to make sure I stuck with the same team over and over. So, let's get into some gameplay and I will show you how it works. Please like, subscribe and comment because you guys are amazing. So, gameplay section of the 4335 um, Formation I used to love. Um, like I said, that I used to love the way the wingers worked. Can't quite get it working the way the wingers used to work, but we'll get it working in some way. Uh, so, we start off and move into the 4335. It's a bit jarry. It'll catch up. Um, the way that the midfield works in the 4-3-3-5 and the 4-3-3-2 uh, is just phenomenal I feel um, so the only real difference with this one is you have a centre forward rather than a striker and that centre forward can be used to link play um, I used Mbappe in these two examples um, but I think I say in the, the tactics bit that I would maybe potentially use Alvarez in there and Mbappe on the right wing. I have now gone back and changed that and played a few games with it with Mbappe on the right wing and I can confirm that Alvarez is a better centre forward with the high high work rates and Mbappe with the high low is better at the right wing. Although you see Alvarez scoring there because he he just does that a lot. So you see directly from kickoff, I'll pause it here because we're getting a great example of it. We have our back four we have our CDM who's playing as a deep line playmaker. We have our two centre mids and we have our front three. Now Mbappe, even though he's centre forward, is still a little bit higher than um, our left and right wingers. But you see the, the width of the team. That is the, the, the quite nice narrow width. We've got loads of triangles. We have an obvious triangle here. Let's go blue. We've got an obvious triangle here. We have a triangle here. We have a triangle here. We have a triangle there. 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 You like let's just do that so all the passing angles you have within this formation brilliant it's a bit mad isn't it let's go <laughs> so it is just phenomenal to play and pass and tiki taka although I, I passed straight to Rafinha there um this is the attacking version so both your fullbacks they're unbalanced expect that shot sure, that, that Charlton card I really want that Charlton card um I had his centurions or whatever it was um and it was phenomenal this guy just buzzed out great team but he's popped out so we're into the second game this guy again full full team full almost full icon team lovely icon golazzo team um now i don't think this guy was particularly great if i remember correctly i think this is quite a high scoring game so we start off straight to pedri pedri just taking his time and we're letting our team move into the the ultra attacking four three three five. We're now past a minute, so we know the team are, are set up into that mentality. We get loads of space there. Lovely ball to Mbappe. Now that is a perfect example of everything I tell you not to do. So watch. You can even watch the control pad when I, I hit the ball into Mbappe here. I got the, the the run sprint button held down. I keep telling you guys not to do that. Yeah, I do it sometimes. Then um, if you've got the sprint button held down, that's a kind of touch even a ninety eight Mbappe will take. So always let go of sprint when you receive the ball. Uh, we lose the ball. We're just kind of covering angles here. Pelestri, player I see a lot. He tries to do a wee flick. Somehow he gets past me. I'm like, what is going on here? Um, and Martinez comes up with a big save, which he does more often than not. He's a very good goalkeeper in the game. In a game with rubbish goalkeepers. So we win the header. He tries to put it in near post. A lovely shot. <laughs> like I was, when that came in, I was like, what? 
what is going on here? I wouldn't even thought to hit it from there. Um, so Pedri brings the ball forward. Um, Martinez should have went infield there, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Uh, there I'm looking for the through ball into that gap that I always talk to you guys about between the fullback and the centre back. Boom, in the back of the net. So he starts again. He, I think he's playing four, two, three, one, or four, two, one, three, or whatever it is. Um, so we just face him up there. We um, jockey him, and we come away with the ball. And you'll see me do that over and over and over again. Jockeying is the best style of defending. Get the ball into Mbappe. This time, not pressing the, the sprint button, so he controls it really well. We get a, a really fortuitous with the turn, and, and we get the goal. Um, he goes out to Pelist Pelistri again. Lovely switch out to McManaman and it takes a shot. Oh, is this the guy that just kept switching it and trying to glitch me? I think this guy just starts going heavy with the glitches. So let's have a look. Um, so we're just using the triangles I was talking to you about. Getting forward. Captivia and Navas when they get forward. Lovely wee ball inside there. Pedri. Then Alvarez. Look at the run Pedri's making. Picks up the ball again. Try we through ball. If I double tapped that, it might have went through. Um, his team's obviously fallen deep. So this guy is going to then switch it, I think. I think this is what this guy's about. I think he's about big switches from here. Yeah. So he had his um, players on stay wide. Uh, and he, he tries to switch it and look for power shot volleys and stuff. So you, it's just someone that's trying to abuse a mechanic and can't defend. Look, look at the gap he's left there for Mbappe. So I'm just going to dance through that. We ball roll and then tap it in. It's it when people leave you that kind of gap, you just have to take it. Um, you'll see him try and do. Like, there we go again. That same big switch keeper comes out, makes me panic a little bit. I'm like, pick up the ball. There we go. Um, because I was about to smash it on <laughs> the park. Bend out, pay out. Uh, so we've got Rudiger, Kondogbia, lovely pass into Mbappe, and that's. That's the the position that you want uh your your center forward taken up, um this ball here. So you see where Mbappe is, and you see how narrow Fernand Torres is coming in, and now Alvarez is making this run in here, right, into here, and he's going to run that way. So we have two players acting like strikers, and we've got our center forward acting like a cam. And that's why it's really important that this player isn't just a striker they have to be more of a playmaker striker so it's, a, it's an easier role to fill now i always find it a difficult role to fill at the start of the game i always feel like how do you you fill that when you've got players that don't have high passing but maybe have high pace and high shooting it's difficult short passing and vision that's all you, that's what you want on this player short passing and vision that's why i moved alvarez in there and he was actually a lot better um i should have realized that in the start but uh mbappe lovely through ball to fernand because he's brought his central defender out and we just tap it past. So he's either using teammate contain or he's running defenders out of position. And because he's running defenders out of position, there's holes in his defense. And we are just using through balls to destroy his defense. So again, he tries that big switch ball. Uh, Rudiger to Pedri. Pedri, ball down the line to, to Alvarez. Again, he's pulled his full back out of position and his center back out of position. We're just taking our time. We're waiting. We mess up the pass, but we get there first. Find Fernand, who's come all the way across to lend support. Pedri, La Celso on his left foot. We fake shot. Nearly goes in. But you see how high Cap de Villa is, and that's what gives the, the two wingers that freedom to move about because our fullbacks take up the wide positions when they vacate them. Again, he tries a big switch ball. Gets it to McManaman, and we just face him up and don't give him the space. Ball into Cap de Villa. Captivia into Kondongbia. Kondongbia to Pedri. Pedri's looking up. We ball into Captivia, who's come inside as well. So the freedom this, this formation seems to bring out the players. And we get all this tiki taka and then boom. Our players are, are, are lovely positions. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I just love playing this formation. I love playing this tactic. This and the 4 one 2 one 2, two they just, And the four two three one. 3 one I just feel like they're special. So he gave away a penalty there. And that's what you get when you've got so many players getting in the box and you've got so much possession. And we just stick it into the top corner. And I think this is when he calls it 
no, we're going, that's good. Um, so he hits it to his left back, his right back, and then he tries a big switch to his left winger. And he's trying to get a power shot from there, which is about hits the corner flag. I think this must be how he plays the game. Which, if that's what he does and he has fun with it, okay. Look at that pass. How is that pass gone there, by the way? He tries a finesse shot with Pillistry. Sometimes you wonder about the pass in this game. I really need to get player locks. I think that's going to be my goal for FC25, is get good at player locks. Just use them all the time. So I mess up that pass there because he's really high um, pressure, but he tries to run down the line with Cole. Rudiger comes across and just takes the ball off him. We give the ball down the line. Alvarez must have been offside for Mbappe to get onto that. I tried the first time pass. I had time. I didn't need to play the first time pass there. I would have been better not doing that. Um, again, he's tried a big switch ball. Again, he tries the power shot. We pick it up. We give it to Rudiger. To Navas. Pedri. Forward to Mbappe in that centre forward position. Back to Pedri. The gap's opened up for Alvarez and we didn't get over him. Hit the crossbar, hit the crossbar again. I'm like, okay, fine. Gives the ball out to McManaman, who does a wee dink forward. Captain Vieira just picks it up inside to Kondogbia. Kondogbia, we just take our time. We ball roll. We try a pass. It gets picked up by Cole, who's gone really narrow. Uh, we see the, the dink over the top. I think Alvarez was close to being offside. I think he was probably onside. He tries a long ball. Martinez comes up. Out. He's on balance, by the way, at this point. Not super keeper, and he's still that far out. Um, we're, we've, I was just waiting for the whistle at this point, so there we go. And I think this is when he quits. I don't think he comes back out for the second half. Nah. So that was it. Yeah. yeah what a team that first one is as well, by the way. Look at that. That Pedri Char Charlton card. I really want that Charlton card. La Celso. Um, Marquinhos, Coleman, great team. Um, but there you go, that's the, how it plays. Lovely formation, free-flowing, fast, uh, tiki-taka. Give it a go, you'll love it. Um, but let's get into tactics and you can see how I set it up. Thanks for watching this part. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting. You guys are amazing. Uh, and this is the last one, so, for the series. Not ever. Let's get into tactics. So that's us over and done with, with the uh, gameplay analysis. That Second game was a bit crazy. Um, please don't play like that. Uh, you just open yourself up to constant attack. You know, it's just a weird way of playing. Don't look for glitches like that. It doesn't work. So this is how the team set up in the beginning of the game. And then we move into the custom tactics. And we go all the way to the end. So this is a bit different. It is a 100 depth tactic. I wanted to give you one at least. And because this was the ultra attacking one, I figured this was the right place for it. So we're on balanced the defensive style, 40 width, 100 depth. We're on build up play balance and chance creation balanced. We're just leaving everything balanced for the AI to do their thing. Uh, we've got chance creation on 45. We have players in the box, seven. Corner kicks and free kicks, completely up to you, is two and two. The reason for this is I like the 100 depth. I feel the auto offside and the auto pressing. I really like it. It's still really solid. Um, they've not patched this, so I don't know if they ever are. Uh, balanced and balanced, like I say, just letting the, the AI do their thing with the, the player movement now. Width 45, because we want those players coming inside. We could go a bit narrower, but I like 45 as a, a starting point. If you want to go narrower, feel free. Um, if you want to do those big cross balls like you've seen that guy do in the gameplay, go up to like 75. You can do that, but not that it worked for him. Um, players in the box, 7, just because we like a high number and we're looking for a goal. Corner kicks and free kicks, yeah. Whatever you want the team set up. Uh, Fernand Torres is on balanced defensive support, cut inside, getting behind, getting to the box. Uh, same with Alvarez, balanced defensive support, cut inside, getting to the bo getting behind, getting to the box. Uh, Mbappe is on stay central, getting behind. Lo Celso is on all balanced, apart from cover centre. Pedri is on all balanced, apart from cover centre. Uh, Condogbe is on stay back while attacking, deep line playmaker, cover centre. So these two, we're just trying to get those same kind of attacking runs from them. Uh, Captivia is on balanced overlap. Navis is on balanced and overlap because Condombia is dropping back and being our third centre back kind of thing, kind of an inverted sweeper. Uh, Martinez, I think I just had him balance and balance in this one. Um, I really don't notice any difference. You seen how sweeper he was at one point when the ball went long. So, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and that's it. That's all the positions. You could have the changes I would make if I was going to make changes to this. If I wanted to make this more of a neutral, I'd put one of my fullbacks on to stay back while attacking. Um, I would have get him behind. On, uh, so I come back on defence on the wingers. Uh, and Mbappe, I would play him probably more as in mixed, probably mixed runs. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I do to make this more neutral. You could have one of these guys on stay on the edge of box. Um, but I wouldn't take off the balance attacking support. Uh, yeah, it's a really fun formation to play. It's a really fun tactic to use. Um, it's a lot more attacking than the other 4-3-3s that I've put out. 4-3-3-4 is your pressing one. 4-3-3-5 is your attacking one. 4-3-3-2 is your neutral one. Four, well, neutral-ish one. And more defensive neutral. 4 3 3 Three is your defense, ultra defensive one, and four three three would be your starting one. So yeah, there there you go. There's five different four three three tactics and formations over the course of this week. Um, if you guys like four three three, which is a brilliant formation in this game and it works really well. And the nice thing about four three three is if you find a couple of these formations and tactics that you like, you can always swap in the four three two one because it's still a four three three variation, and the four two three one because it can work as a four three three variation. So. You always have options with the 433. Uh, yeah. Have fun with it. Play about with it. See what you can get up to. And remember, only play this game while it's fun. If it stops being fun, then you just stop playing this game and go play something else. You can always come back to it. That's what I do. So, thank you guys. You're a great community. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, and go have fun with the game. Catch you guys in the next video.